Friends, we're gathered here in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Tim and Amanda. They say you can't choose your family. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's not entirely true. For the better part of 20 years, we, Samantha, Amanda, and I, have been choosing each other as family. We've been through a lot the terrors of middle school lunch tables, and high school politics. Some pretty awkward coming of age moments, driver's ed, sex ed, <laughs> you name it, we did it all, together. Those bonds are still holding strong, even though distance and busy schedules have conspired to break them. If I never told you how your love has turned me inside out If I never told you how sweet The sound of your voice Your voice is music to my ears It's the sound I long to hear It melts away all my fears The first time I met Tim, he wasn't exactly what I expected. Our Amanda's Taste and Guys had historically run a little bit more counterculture, shall we say. Tim, on the other hand, is the classic good southern boy. I was playing the part of protective sister. Just his better half and my own, so I began the evening cautiously optimistic. As the night went out, I watched closely and I saw what I needed to see. The tell-tale glimmer in his eye when he looked at Amanda. The look every girl deserves, total all love and respect. Thank you for this angel that you have sent me in the mantle. Lord God, walk with us, be with us every day of our life together. Center our relationship around you. Help us be the man and woman that you have made us to be together. In Jesus' name. God, thank you for bringing us together with, with our family and our friends. Please be with us and keep us strong. Thank you for everything you've given us and bringing us here together. Thank you for them. God, please guide us on our journey together. Show us the right way to go. Lord God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for giving me everything I need. Babe, I love you. I love you, baby. We're here, we made it. Let me lay it now to rest. I, Tim, take you, Amanda, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. 
Each day, find a moment to be with God. Pray for yourself and pray for each other. Be good to one another. Regardless of what disappointments or aggravations take place, be kind to one another. Every day, do something special for each other. Every day, find a reason to smile. Because in the end, you've got what you need. You've got a God who loves you, and you have each other. I have done is learning to love someone like I love you. I, Amanda, take you to him. Be my husband to have and to hope from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for in sickness and in health. Love and care until we're part of this. This is my solemn vow. I love you. the joining of hands, the giving and receiving of rings, those whom God join together, let no one put us under. I bless my grandson and his new bride. I bless them, Father, in every aspect of their life. Thank you for putting within them what you expect out of them. Father, I ask that you fill them with your very life, and that'll take care of everything else. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Amanda Gaddy. I mean, excuse me, I am so sorry. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tim and Amanda Gaddy. I am so sorry. You may seal the covenant with a kiss. You are married. Maybe the worst thing I could do is just assume you know it's true. So if I never told you, I love you. Your love 
has turned me inside out If I never told you how sweet the sound of your voice Your voice is music to my ears It's the sound I long to hear It melts away all my fears Maybe the best thing I have done Is learning to love someone Today we're celebrating as one big happy family Two amazing people who are choosing to become family We may not be blood, but we take our sisterhood pretty seriously True. Tim, we're so glad to welcome you to our family Laheim, Mazel Tov, congrats we, we love, love you guys. Just so you know it's true. So if I never told you, I love you. Your skin so smooth against mine. So I, I start, and then Sam has a piece, mm -hmm. and then we kind of have a piece at the end that's all kind of together. Yes. And I had to wait till Jess, I lied to Amanda and told her that I had already done it, um, because I had to wait for Jess, because my writing is awful compared to her, so I was like, please help me. She's much better with words. I'm, I'm a little wordy. Um, <laughs> yeah, she was yeah. even like editing it way into the night last night, and I was like, stop. I was just, just making some concise edits, just a few <laughs> syntactical changes. Uh, <laughs> Which nobody's going to see and we're probably not even going to remember it. The fact that I've, I'm pretty sure I'm not even going to make it through the whole... I, I'll probably just start crying And she doesn't and even just, cry. I'm not really much of a crier, but... I was like, crying was crying night. writing it. I was like, I can't with this. <sighs> so cute. My, I, like, literally my heart rate's going up talking about it. <laughs> yeah. And then if she starts crying, I'm done. Yeah. Because she was crying last If night. Hank starts crying, I'm going to start crying. Yeah. You don't have to see his face. Uh, I know. I do. I could do just as soon you know it's true. So if I never told God, if I had known we were going to be on camera, I totally would have worn a different shirt. I'm not even wearing a shirt. <laughs> what is this anyway? It's it's a hoodie that I got KCRW? from KCRW, which is my local NPR station. Oh my God, adorable. Uh, it has a jackalope on the back. It's pretty sweet. 